Hi guys, welcome, and who dat? I'm Joe, thanks for tuning in to Rosenfield 10. I'm going to let you know about the current moves the Saints have made. We have traded for a player and we've claimed a player off of waivers. And so I'm going to let you know what's happening. And I'm also going to let you know the practice squad as is right now. So... First things first, the Saints trade a six-round pick in next year's draft to the Washington Commanders, and the Saints get defensive tackle John Ridgway the third. He was drafted by the Cowboys in 2022. And he was released. Then the commanders picked him up. And he's been with the commanders for the last two years. He's out of Arkansas. So he's pretty young. He's a defensive tackle. Six foot five. 320 pounds. He's good. Not great. Just okay. And perhaps it was an issue with the system that Dan Quinn runs. Because I think Quinn was with the Cowboys when they got Ridgeway. Quinn didn't keep him. Then the commanders got Ridgeway, and now that Quinn is with the commanders, he's getting rid of Ridgeway again. So Quinn doesn't like Ridgeway, doesn't fit a scheme or whatever. And we're kind of hoping maybe, maybe he fits what the Saints do. So the Saints also get from the commanders a seventh round pick in next year's draft. So basically what the Saints have done is they've moved down from their sixth round pick down to a seventh round pick and they get a whole young defensive tackle. They get a whole new player. So what is the corresponding roster move to make this happen? We acquire Ridgeway through trade. He's on the team now and Kendall Vickers, the defensive tackle who I said in my last video was a guy to keep an eye on to be moved. He was released and then signed to the practice squad. So now Kendall Vickers is on our practice squad. And we have a new fifth defensive tackle, and that's John Ridgeway. Now, I, I, having five defensive tackles is too much. It's just too much. So I'm assuming that there's going to be another move made here pretty soon. I don't think we trade for Ridgeway and then just cut him loose and try to keep him on the practice squad after. I think Ridgeway is here to stay, which means I'm going to assume Colin Saunders is going to be placed on IR or he's just going to be released, maybe released with some injury payment or something. But that's where I'm focusing right now. I'm thinking that this is the way to go because you know, unless you waive your draft pick Christian Boyd and try to squeeze him on the practice squad. So Ridgeway, John Ridgeway, defensive tackle, is now a member of the 53-man roster. And Kendall Vickers is now a member of the practice squad. The other move we made is we claimed a running back off of waivers. He was released by the Vikings, waived by the Vikings. His name is Kenne Wongwu. Wongwu. And he's primarily a kick returner. He's designated as a running back, six foot one, 210 pounds, and he's got sub 4'4 four, four speed. But according to the Vikings, he, he, can't, uh, he can't read which hole to run through. And the Vikings run uh, offense that's not too dissimilar from what we're going to install with Kubiak. Now, Kubiak was there with the Vikings when they acquired Wang Wu, and Wang Wu had a great rookie year returning kicks. Now that the new return uh, rules are set, the Vikings seem to think he's not going to be as good with the new rules. And I believe with the kickoff rules now, it's more of like a running play. <laughs> you, you definitely need to know which hole to hit if you're going to be successful in this. Maybe that's why the Vikings let Wang Wu go. Wang Wu has also been injured a lot, so he spent a lot of time away from football. 
He's only got 27 total carries in, I, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, three years. So he's not a running back. But he has 68 kick returns for 1,879 yards. Insane. Three touchdowns. And through three years, he's got 68 kick returns. He averages 27.6 yards a kick return. That was the old kick return rules. We'll see if it works if, with the new stuff. And I'm assuming the Vikings think it's not going to work. But uh, I also know that our special teams coach had a big hand in changing the rules. And so you got Kubiak who says, hey, this guy's good. I liked him. Then you got Dan Rizzi, our special teams coach, saying, hey, I think it could work. So we'll see what happens. Wong Wu was originally from Iowa State. And yeah, so he's a running back. So how are we going to make a roster move to, to, to have him fit? Well, as of my recording right now at 5 o'clock in the afternoon on uh, Thursday, the uh, corresponding roster move hasn't been announced yet. But somebody on our 53-man roster has to go. We claimed Wang Wu off of waivers. He goes straight to the act of 53 man, the 53 man roster. So I'm going to I'm going to suggest that maybe we let Colin Saunders go. Maybe we put him on IR or something like that. I'm if, they, if there's a part of me that there's there's a part of me that thinks Colin Saunders is not happy with being demoted or whatever, you know. You get demoted, plus that we drafted a defensive tackle. You know, maybe, maybe the signs are clear for Colin Saunders, and he's not happy. Or maybe this injury is as more severe than we thought. But I know for a fact we should not have five defensive tackles on our team. So Brian Brissy, Nathan Shepard, Colin Saunders, Christian Boyd, John Ridgeway. It's too much. So I think the roster move that's going to be made to have Wong Wu on the roster is going to be moving Saunders, whether it's IR or just flat out cutting him. So that's what I have for you right now. And as soon as I hear about this corresponding roster move, we're all going to hear about it. And I think it's going to be a big deal. I've heard some suggest that we might just wave Mason Tipton, since we don't really need six wide receivers. I also heard that it's possible that we take the linebacker Jalen Ford. We have six linebackers right now. Maybe we take Jalen Ford and put him on IR, something like that. Or Saunders on IR. So, you know, whatever corresponding roster move is made, I'll let you guys know about it. Until then, I'm Joe. Subscribe to my channel, Rosenfield10, for more videos like this about the Saints. And I'll have more bells and whistles up in a couple of weeks. And until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Who dat?